Okay, Tony Taggart here. I'm going to do a PWG review. I'm reviewing all the shows I watch. And this review is going to be um, Tremendous Free from 2012. And third show I've watched. And this is a really good show. Uh, not the best one I've seen, but if you compare like the match quality from start to finish to any like WWE pay-per-view from this year, I would put this one probably ahead of all of them. It's like a really good show. I have four um, four star matches on this um, match card. Yeah. I'm gonna put all the matches in the, uh, my match ratings in the description. I'm gonna go over some of these matches and try to make this quick. Uh, the first match was uh, Davis B versus Joey Ryan. Um, I'm not gonna I want to rewatch this for some reason. I didn't like it too much. I gave it only like two stars and three fourths. But maybe I might watch it again. Bump up, bump up the three stars. It wasn't that bad of a match, but. Um, I wasn't too impressed with it. The next match, I think, was the, um, TJ Perkins and Ryder Strong. This one surprised me. I wasn't really expecting to be that any good. And it just, like, surprised me a lot. Easy four-star match. Like, not even... Didn't even, like, hesitate. Four stars easily. And I think... I, maybe I overrated it, because I was looking at some reviews. A lot of reviews didn't give it four stars. I guess because it didn't go long enough. But I, I loved it. This match it was awesome. Then, um... Fighting Terror Boys versus Rockness Monsters. Um, i trying to remember my star ratings. They're in the description, but I think I gave us three and a half stars. Good tag team match. Wasn't great, but it was good. It was really good. Felt like I had a lot of time. A lot of spots I liked. And Brian Cage versus Eddie Edwards. Um, really good match. Almost gave it four stars. I gave it three and three fourth stars. Couldn't give it four stars. Almost did, but. Really good match. Um, yeah, Eddie Edwards was awesome. Brian Cage was awesome. And then um, the next four matches here, most of these are, were really good. Kevin Steen versus Willie Mack for the championship. Um, maybe I overrated a little bit, but I gave four and a quarter stars. I thought this was a good match. Really good. I felt I like the effort from both guys. There's some really good spots. Plus, the title was on the line, so. Four and a quarter stars, probably a good rating for it. Then B Boy versus Drake Hiller. This match I might have underrated a little bit. Um, a lot of people give it four and a half stars. I give it four and a quarter. But still, a really good match. Good stiff wrestling and good spots. This might have been Drake Younger's like, PWJ debut. And it was a really good match. Great, like, um, you know, like a, like a CCW type match. Very like um, stiff and a lot of like, you know, violent spots. Like not only with weapons, but like, like, um, like nasty like bumps. Like people laying on their heads and stuff. It was like, you know, someone could get seriously hurt in this match. But it was it was good. And here we go. This is like probably the worst match of the night, in my opinion. Sammy Callahan and Michael Elgin. Uh, for some reason, I just could not get this match. I just could not stay focused for this match. Um, Maybe because they're, I think Sammy Callahan and Michael Elgin are both kind of big guys, and it they were doing they, were, they had some good spots. They were working hard. Look like it just I couldn't get into it. It's, it's, it's my fault more than their fault. I just match I didn't really enjoy. But maybe if someone else watched, they enjoy a lot. So so far for some reason, Michael Elgin is not one of my favorite wrestlers from PWG. I don't know why he just um, I've only seen a few of his matches, but so far I'm not too impressed. But overall, this match I think was probably a match I liked the least on this card. Which I'm not saying it's a bad match. There's like no bad matches on this card. It's just the match I just didn't like a, the the this match I, I didn't like the least, or the match I li liked the least. So, what's the it's the worst bet? It's the worst good match. <laughs> Cause there's no like really bad matches on this um show. And then the main event. This one um uh. So I did my live reactions for this match. It was a ladder match with Super Smash Brothers and Future Shock and the Young Bucks. And I really liked this. First of all, like I really liked this match a lot. It was a really good match. But people were giving it five stars and all that stuff. And it didn't, it didn't feel like a five star match to me. I mean, it's a really cool spots, but I don't know what it was. But for some reason, I just to me it felt like a four and a half star match. It didn't feel like a five star classic. Now, like, Steen Wolf, the main event was Kevin Steen and El Jericho, and that felt like a five-star match to me. For some reason, this one didn't. 
But this is one of those matches that I want to go back and watch it again, and maybe I'll change my mind. Because I definitely liked it a lot, but I think the problem was a lot of times when um, I hear really good things about a match, and then when I finally see it, I have my expectations like so high that it's impossible for, for, um, for them to meet my expectations. So if I feel kind of disappointed, even though it, it was a terrific match. I feel like if I had gone to this match not knowing anything about it and not knowing what to expect, I might probably would have liked it a lot more. But whatever, it was still a really good match and definitely like I enjoyed it. And if you watch my um like I said, I made a live reactions video, I posted it on my channel. If you go watch that, I was enjoying the match. I did like you know mark off for some of the spots. But I just didn't think it was five stars. So I'll see, I'll stop this here. So yes, tremendous free. I say, um, was it my favorite PG PWG show? I still say Steam Wolf was my favorite, but it's definitely a good show. Definitely. I mean, four, four matches, I get four stars too. I mean, you know, how can you s can't give a match, can't give a show like have four uh, four star matches and call it a bad show? Cause it, it's, it's not, you know, a lot of shows will like you get three uh, four star matches when at four. So, yeah, really good show. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.